in this video I'm going to show you like uh, how to update uh, from Android KitKat 4.4.2 to Android KitKat 4.4.4 on uh, Moto E and uh, it's good to see that Motorola is rolling this update uh, despite this being a entry level phone and we hope that Moto G and Moto X also gets this update and uh, so let's go to settings about phone system updates and there we can see new system software is available and uh, you have two options you may install it later or uh, now so I'll just go for now and uh, make sure that you have enough battery and you have two options like you can go for Wi-Fi only or Wi-Fi or mobile networks I'll go with Wi-Fi only and uh, let's hit done there you go uh, it should start in a moment and uh, it's just the download and uh, once the download is finished uh, we have to install the file so let's go to uh, and there we can see uh, the system update has begun downloading so as we can uh, see it's currently running for 4.2 and uh, it's not a big file it's just a, a 57 MB uh, file as we can see there 57.9 MB and uh, it'll take some time to download and it depends on your internet connection so uh, I'll be just back uh, once it's done and uh, there you can see it's almost done and it is checking for updates so that's good It take uh, it takes some time and uh, and uh, once we go to the notification tray we can see that uh, the file has been downloaded so hit that install system update and it should start uh, installing but uh, wait it, it says like it take 10 minutes to installation time and you have two options like you can uh, do it later or now so I'll go with install now and uh, it should start installing and there you go uh, it is uh, powering off and it'll take some time to uh, do the first boot after the update so uh, let's wait and uh, let's get back uh, once it's done there you can see it has uh, started installing the system update and uh, as it said it'll take 10 minutes let's see like uh, how much time does it take let's get back once it's done and there you can see it's almost done so uh, we have the first boot after the update and uh, uh, actually I didn't change the boot screen and uh, and also sorry for that uh, brightness of that uh, display I just can't help that uh, and uh, you need not worry about uh, the content on the phone everything uh, will be preserved as it was before and uh, it's it's just a minor update uh, according to sources it's not the uh, as we can see as we can judge by the size of the file itself and uh, I remember like uh, uh, on my Moto G like I was uh, updating from uh, Jelly Bean to KitKat and it was around a 300 uh, MB file so that was a big update and uh, I don't think so this is and uh, there you can see it's optimizing uh, uh, the files or the apps and uh, It'll take some time and uh, maybe we should uh, wait for some time and it's really quite interesting to, to see that uh, Moto G hasn't uh, got this update yet but uh, Moto E has and uh, that's very interesting 
hopefully we get it uh, to Moto G and Moto X and uh, I'll make sure that I'll cover the update for Moto G and I'll make a video on that so I guess we are done uh, uh, it has completed it may take some time uh, to load uh, some of the things and uh, it's done right and the Wi-Fi is connected so uh, uh, as you can see uh, nothing is just changed uh, the app tray is uh, uh, the one which we had earlier and it's the same and uh, let's see if uh, anything else is changed uh, the home screen uh, is same and uh, notification bar is same and uh, nothing is just changed just have uh, these five home screens and uh, let's see if uh, yeah, and let me show like uh, the 4.4.4 update once you press and hold it shows you like and it gives us the message like uh, your Moto E has been successfully updated that's great there we have Android 4.4.4 And uh, let's now see like the system updates and it must show like uh, it's updated your device or software is up to date that there, there we go and uh, let's see the dialer okay the color has been changed and uh, earlier we had that black and uh, blue shades and now it's like white and uh, blue shades that's uh, nice to see and uh, let's see like what uh, else is changed so let's go to camera and let's see if the interface is changed no it's uh, I guess it's the same and uh, maybe it's the update uh, regarding uh, security issues uh, and uh, some minor updates it's not that uh, big update and uh, nothing has been really changed let's see the messaging app and it's the same Let's go to settings and see if anything has been added, any new functionality. Really don't uh, find one. And uh, you can uh, tell me like uh, if you have noticed any big difference. So that will help other people too. And uh, you can uh, always comment uh, in, in the comment section about that. So that's it guys, uh, if you have enjoyed this video, please click that like button and uh, for more videos like this, subscribe to my channel and most importantly, thanks for watching.